a car that I really would love to have in the future, and that is a Tesla. Alright guys, so the first thing that I definitely would say about wanting a Tesla is not having to pay for gasoline and the thing about gas is the prices have gone up so much um, and whether you're going from state to state, I feel like generally it's well over $3.50 here in Massachusetts. It's very expensive considering I have an Infiniti M37X. I typically have to use premium gas and um, that's pretty expensive. It's well over $4. I know that when you're charging a Tesla, it's cheaper than that. Um, so one, just not having gasoline, I think would be incredible. Um, you know, I'm not someone where I'm like super fond of the smell of gasoline, but at the same time, I appreciate the vehicles that use it, but I personally would prefer to use an electric vehicle because um, I think that would just be awesome. So I would really love that. Next, I just think the torque on Teslas is insane. I don't think there are many vehicles that have that instantaneous torque, and I think that's a really cool feature. Now, I think everyone always wants maybe a faster car, wants one that has like a bunch of horsepower, can go really fast. Now, this is not my driving factor, but I do like that there is that option where if you needed to just accelerate really, really quick, you can just go and do that. So I love that Teslas have that, um, and I think that's incredible that the battery and the way that Teslas design these cars can go very, very quick. Um, the Tesla Model S, from what I'm reading, um, has more than a thousand, uh, the torque output is more than a thousand pound feet, uh, while the base Model 3 produces 302 pound feet, um, which is crazy, but 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds. That's really fast. That's that's very fast. Um, next, probably my biggest thing, uh, my opinion, is the innovative tech that comes with a Tesla. Owning a Tesla, um, you obviously have that beautiful display um, in the console of the car. Looks incredible. I feel like Teslas, when you get inside of one, it just looks futuristic. Um, I know there's always going to be that desire to have that vintage feel of cars, and I do love them. I do like vintage cars a lot. But I think with Teslas, I do like that futuristic feel when you get in. Um, it's almost like a minimalist, but also like tech savvy car. You feel like you're driving more than just a car. It, it, there's more to it than just getting in your car, driving to work. Like I feel like it's more of an experience and there's constantly updates that Tesla is doing to improve the cars um, in terms of their tech features. Um, I've seen so many videos of like people showing off what they can do and not that this is a big thing but like being able to play video games while you're in your car or you know obviously having some really smart tech features now the self-driving that's something I'll jump to later on this video but um, that's something to definitely talk about um, once we get to it um, next is the charging network so I really like the Tesla has these charging stations now this is something of a debate that has recently come up in the news is that a lot of Tesla charging stations are not able to either charge cars or they're not charging them very fast due to cold weather and this is definitely something that is a valid point because if you go to a gas station regardless of how cold it is they can still fill up the gas for you right um, or you do it yourself but with a charging station imagine if your car is super low the weather is going to be freezing for the next week or so and you're not able to charge your car that's going to be a big issue for a lot of people um, but what I do like is not only the fact that there are so many charging stations that you can go to nowadays but honestly like how fast the charge is and also how long the battery lasts for um, obviously when you fill up a gas tank for a car um, all different cars have different, you know, miles until empty, whereas with Tesla's, it's very different, um, which is awesome. Um, but according to Tesla, superchargers can provide up to 200 miles of range in 15 minutes, um, which is super, super fast um, to do that. Obviously, that may not be as quick as filling up your gas tank, um, but at the same time, you're not paying that same amount for gasoline. You're putting it towards your battery, which is great. Um, so it's definitely one of those new things. And I think Teslas are kind of the premium brand for electric vehicles. 
that are kind kind of driving the way towards it. Um, the one thing that I do want to mention is I would really love to see, uh, and I know this would never go with Tesla's model of what their company is about, but I do like electric vehicles that also are hybrids. So being able to fill it up with gasoline and being able to use electric at the same time. I think that's a really cool feature. Um, but for me, Tesla so far is kind of like my favorite uh, when it comes to the the cars. Um, next up is minimal maintenance. So I have known someone, coworkers who have owned Teslas and they tell me that they don't even really have to bring their car in to get things fixed, um, have these repairs that happen all the time. Um, there's pretty much like used cars that are up to like 100,000 miles for Teslas and they're still fine. They're still running completely fine. Um, you know, obviously I think with any car, you're gonna have issues with the brakes, you're gonna have issues with, like there are always things with cars that are gonna have to be repaired. That's